former Ontario Minister of Citizenship, Multiculturalism, and Director at the Transformation Institute for Leadership and Innovation, Dr. Tony Ruprecht, for the welcome message. Good evening and welcome to the Transformation Award Ceremony. Tonight we have much to celebrate. We're going to introduce a number of persons who have achieved great success. They have climbed the ladder to the top of their profession and transformed in the meantime themselves and transformed society. We are proud of them. I was half hour ago at the reception and someone asked me, what do they have in common? And the answer, of course, is they have many things in common, but one is most important. And that one is they found a way to bypass, to overcome, or to prevent or to stop the whole idea of criticism and negativity. How do you handle that? Remember, it starts from the very beginning and uh, before school even. It starts at home. The, uh, the child is being criticized by the parents. Then it begins and continues, uh, continues again in school, when the, the child is being compared to, to other kids. And then, of course, they go to work, and they work again. People talk behind your back, some, some very negative things occasionally, and it continues even in the family, and the most brutal, the most brutal negative and criticism comes from some of the in-laws. I guess most of us have that already. So the whole point of the matter is, the whole point of the matter is how to stop this and how to get away from this. Because it kills your future. It kills your vision. It fences you in. It stops you from achieving great things in life. So this criticism and this negativity that is that is all around us throughout society has a way to get to you. So what's the way to get out of it? Well, to get out of it, I will tell you a quick story about India. I was invited to go to India. And in India, I saw a phenomenal sight. I saw the biggest animal in the animal kingdom, the elephant, being tied with a small little rope to a stick. In fact, this stick, I brought it in from India. This stick tells the elephant it cannot move beyond its boundary. This stick tells the elephant it is its master. This stick is creating a fence. While the elephant, with the small movement of its trunk, or of its foot, could have freed it and could get away and do anything that it wants to. It could kick it away, but it does not, because it is conditioned. You and I are conditioned. You and I have to bear the brunt of all this criticism, this criticality that is throughout society. And what is the way out? The question then is, what is your stake? What is your condition that you're subject to? Because it kills the future. And it kills the idea that you can achieve and reach your potential. And that you can reach for the stars. It kills that whole idea. So my friends, the question then is this. You have two choices to make. The first choice is you take this stick, this condition you have, and you clutch it to your bosom. You take it to your chest and you say, I am happy with my situation. I don't want to change, and I have no right to reach for my potential. Or, the other option is, you can throw it away. <laughs> and reach your freedom, and reach for the stars, and get out of this fog into a fresh, new world. And the major point of it all is simply this, if you throw it away, and start new, and start different, you can determine your destiny, and you can structure your future. And that means we're looking towards those who are the recipients today to show us the way. We are proud of you. We look to you to determine our future. <laughs>